tapped out exclusive characters. These are all characters that haven't appeared in the Simpsons TV show, other games, and other media like comics. So, it's the S tier. If they're in the S tier, they're probably like one of my favorite characters. Probably make my top 50 Simpsons tapped out character list. A tier is like highly above average, really good. B tier is slightly above average, like they don't get lost in your town and they're not too bland. C is very bland NPCs, ones that are a little too boring or basic. D tier is going to be NPCs or characters that are under bland, like they're kind of ugly or too small. And F tier is going to be ones that are super ugly and are probably better off in your inventory. So let's start with the baby T-Rex. D tier. He's a too big and the other dinosaurs look a lot better than him. Big Claw. A. Really cool animation. Cool features. How you can tap him. He's good. Copyright lawyer, very bland, basic. C tier, pet snake. It's a little too small. Other than that, he's really good. This kid, very boring, basic person. Turkey, very boring and basic animal. Pretty straightforward. Actually, he's probably better than the pet snake. A lot bigger. Pharaoh guard. Very unique. Even though he stands out in your town in kind of a bad way, he has a really cool design. The Bob clones, F tier. We did not need three different sideshow bobs. They're barely any different, and they're kind of weird. These guys. These are worse than the Bob clones. They look super out of place in your town. I don't know why anyone would want these three. The Barbarian. From a very controversial event. Not a really good looking character. He's kind of a bad character actually. We don't need another Homer. Chippy S tier. Very cool game mechanics. Very marketable. He's kind of cute looking. I don't know. Uh, he looks cool, I guess. Zombie Cat. Very cool. He's probably my favorite of the zombies, but he's kind of small. Shuffles. You know what? While we're at it, we'll grab Cloaky and Leary Wolf. Uh, the three of these guys came in a bundle. Say so they're all very good. They're probably the best of these bundle NPCs. Leary Wolf is like my favorite of the three. Cloaky Shuffles probably the weakest, but they're all still very good. This guy. He's a very boring character, but he looks very disproportional in game. If you see him in game, he's like super. He's just odd. This thing. Oops. This is probably one of the best looking dinosaurs in the game. But it has like this super long and complicated name. It's like Diplosaurus. It's a nightmare to spell. And whenever I'm looking for images of this guy, it's always a hard time. So just for his name, he's going the F tier. This girl. And while we're at it, we'll get the guy. These two are super cool. They're like normal humans. They got the nice itchy and scratchy balloons. I think I like this girl the best. But yeah, super cool. Plague of rats. Ugly. Nobody wants rats in their town. The skeleton. Actually, I put the skeleton right here. Oops. Yeah, he's very basic. Very, very basic. But, you know, during the Halloween season, it's kind of cool to have him around. Lucy St. Her. And J. Rigelian Christ. Both really cool characters. I think he's the better of the two. Uh, 
you may disagree with me. He was premium and he came with a building, but he kind of led the event. These two could easily be flip flopped, but for now, I think I'm gonna put him first. Uh, formless Terror. He's very bland, boring, but I like when you tap him. He like morphs. Kind of cool running around your town. Doesn't get lost. This thing. This is Bunny 24601. It's very random. I don't know why we needed this, but hey, it's very small too. Star Spawn. Compared to Minster and Cthulhu, we don't really need this. He's very ugly. His animation when you tap him is kind of random. The Tourist. All three of these guys are very cool characters. I like how they change for each country. That's it. The Crook. Extremely basic, but he's cool to have around your town. This drone. Hear me out, hear me out. I just love the fact that this battle drone just flies around your town. It's a very clean drone. Yeah. Western Snake. These two are pretty much the same thing, it's just he's a cowboy, he's a football player. I think I don't like his color scheme the best. Yeah. He's very small, gets lost in your town. Zombie dog. This is probably the ugliest of the zombies, it's just kind of weird. I, even though he was free, I just don't like him. Mecha Hawk. He's probably one of the best NPCs in the game. He was like the major villain in the sci-fi event. Yeah, he was free. He's very cool. He's like the future Stephen Hawk. Hawking. He probably just and he deserves tasks. He hundred percent deserves tasks. Pet mutant plants. He's on the smaller side and does a little dance when you tap him. I think that's cool. But other than that, he's very small. And gets lost in your town. He's very cute though. Well, Alright, we'll do this guy. He's a uglier version of this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like him. This is a lot better version of it. Giant Screaming Pillar. It's kind of cool to have this uh, different option if you just don't want the decoration of the Screaming Pillar. Yeah, so I like that. Chester. Very basic character. He wasn't really needed. Like, do we really need Bernice's nephew in the game? I mean, it's cool that we got him, but other than that, he's just an average character. He's a lot better than all these NPCs, though. Disco Zombie. And Regular Zombie. Pretty much the same thing. Um, the Disco Zombie was more? No, this was more donuts. Uh, the Disco Zombie is a better looking version of this guy. And I like, you know, he does the dance when you tap on this guy's head blows up. Yeah, but who really wants zombies walking around your town? They're kind of ugly. The Justice Agent. I hate this guy's design. I just don't think he looks like a police officer. And that's all I have to say about him. Extremely average. Rosa. I really like her backstory and how she's free. Like the whole clips with Maggie. Yeah, it's she's cool. She's cool. The Jerome. Extremely basic. It's a downgraded version of this, and this costs more donuts. That's all I have to say. Brutus. Extremely ugly. I don't know why anyone would want this guy in their town. Yeah, he's 40 donuts. It's the hard sell. He's kind of like the Rufians. Like, it's very weird looking people running around your town. And this kid. Extremely basic. He just holds that axe. It's the only thing special about him. So, yeah, that's my ranking of all the tapped out exclusive characters. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree, 
and I challenge you guys to do this yourselves. I'll put the link in the description and you could post photos of how you'd rank them on the Discord server. Till then, see you guys next time.